Well, Faraday Future unveiled its concept car at last year's Consumer Electronics Show. Somewhat disappointing unveiling. It's been 12 months of drama for the company between executive departures, lawsuits regarding unpaid bills, and turmoil with Faraday's main Chinese investor. But even with all of that, Faraday finally unveiled its first actual production car on Tuesday at CES. So joining us now to discuss this is Joan Solzman, senior writer at CNET. Joan, thanks for joining us today. Great to be here. So after a full year of ups and downs for this startup company, what happened yesterday at CES? After a lot of teasing and a lot of secrecy, Faraday Future finally had an actual car that it says is production, going to be production ready that people will eventually be able to drive. Yeah. So it unveiled the car. It showed it off. It certainly looks very flashy. Uh, but any details on when this is going to be available, how much it's going to cost, what's, what the production of this entails? That's the problem. We have some answers, but we still have more questions than answers, ultimately. We do know some things. We do know that the car is supposed to be delivered in 2018, but there's questions underneath that. The company doesn't even have a production facility yet. Their Nevada facility has been delayed because of some of those debts that you mentioned. So we don't know how much it's going to cost. We don't know how many people will ever be able to get one, even though the company promises deliveries in 2018. Yeah, and you just mentioned Nevada. What are Can the company actually get out from some of these financial problems that have been uh, so heavily reported in recent months? For example, how do they deal with lawsuits and uh, Chinese backers' financial troubles? Well, there's a lot of uncertainty there, too. La Echo, which is the Chinese main backer, is a giant company in China. Uh, but there have been reports that its own finances are in a lot of trouble. Now, that means Faraday Future is facing kind of second degree uncertainty because of that. And there have been a lot of executive departures, a whole exodus of people around this cloud of uncertainty with the company. We don't really know what the debts are. It's a private company. It's very secretive. Up until yesterday, all we really knew about it was a bunch of teaser videos of what they wanted their car to be. So there's still a lot more questions than answers. Yeah, and certainly the electric car market is quickly becoming uh, more crowded. Why would wealthy consumers looking to buy a car, why would they choose a company like this, where there's a lot of question marks about the production of this new vehicle, not to mention the financial issues, rather than uh, another high-end car like a Ferrari or another high-end electric car like a Tesla? That's a great question, and that's one of the reasons why Faraday Future has a lot of difficulty finding even a place in that very high niche. Although it has a very impressive car with some really great specs, it's catering itself to that very highest echelon of buyers that already are used to having every single option at their disposal. When you're a consumer that can buy any car that you want, why would you choose one that has so many questions about it and it doesn't have a track record of being able to deliver? So in light of all of that, how does the future look for a company like Faraday? <laughs> how does the future look for Faraday Future? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it looks better than it did yesterday. They actually mm -hmm. had a car that people could sit in and could drive, and despite a small snafu where one of the executives said, let's put it in auto park, and it didn't actually do it, it can actually do some of the things that it says it can do. But now it's on the company to actually deliver on its promises. Well, Joan Solzman, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for watching. I'm Morgan Brennan. Have a great day. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.